Uh, the Jaguars, they are struggling against you know, good receivers, especially outside receivers. Michael Pittman twice, Tank Dell, Stefan Diggs, Gabe Davis, all of them, 97 or more yards against the Jaguars. They've allowed the fourth most completions of 20-plus air yards. Everything's setting up nicely for a big Olave game, right? I mean, we've gotten a, I've gotten a lot of Olave questions lately. Should we just say you probably shouldn't have Olave questions this week? Must start guy. You should. And another wrinkle to it is that Tyson Campbell, who's one of the top corners for Jacksonville, not expected to play. His replacement has allowed a 75% catch rate over the course of his career. Hasn't even played 100 coverage snaps. So I, I, I think you just roll with Olave. Good start this week. Okay. Top 10. Let's start with the Saints then, guys. Kamara must start, right? Yep. He's, Olave must start. Yep. Any other... Any others, not must starts, but guys you want to start on the Saints, Jamie? Uh, I want to play Rashid Shahid in DFS for exactly everything you just laid out. Um, Michael Thomas is what he is. You know, he's a low end number three receiver in PPR. You know, you're you're getting a floor and a ceiling that is basically the same. <laughs> um, so don't have a lot of high expectations, but you you just know what you're getting. So um, yeah, that's it. I think there, there's there's two must starts, and then Derek Carr is is very intriguing because he's not great, but uh, the matchup is is favorable. And he is coming off two games where if he had gotten that second touchdown, you'd be happy with the, the performances. He's averaging 18 and a half fantasy points over that span. Um, I hope the play calling, if the game is close at the end of the game, is a little bit better in his favor because uh, that was awful. I'm sure he had a big hand in that. But um, in any event, I, I think based on the the quarterback landscape, I, I'm, I'm very close to ranking Carr ahead of Lawrence this week. I get yeah. that. I've got Lawrence one spot ahead of Carr. Same. Here's here's what holds me back from from flipping it. His offensive line has two significant injuries at tackle. Uh, they're going with Trevor Penning, who was just benched at left tackle. Now he's back at left tackle, and they're flip flopping guys all over the line to try and just get a decent front five. Not that the Jaguars' pass rush is is dominant by any stretch. They have been playing a little bit better the last couple of weeks. Trayvon Walker specifically. Um, but I, I just I worry about how he does. He throws a ton of deep balls. They're almost like half of them are overthrown, like no shot at being caught. And so I'm I'm nervous to trust him, especially since d- does he have a game this year with 20 fantasy points? I don't think he does. No, far no, no. So it's it's tough to trust him. But given what you said, six teams on by, and Justin Fields is hurt, and some other quarterbacks you just can't trust. I'm I'm finding myself kind of interested in Derek Carr. Uh, we have some car questions from the chat. Car or love from David? Please say love. love. He says love. I do love. say love. Car or Gino from Anthony? Car. Gino. Gino. Taysom Hill or Logan Thomas? Thomas. Thomas, Thomas is safer, although I, I think one of the reasons why Hill got so much work last week was because they were playing a heavy zone coverage defense, and they're going to see that again this week. So there's an outside chance that we see another – Nine point PPR game from Taysom Hill. I just don't want to trust it if I don't have to. Howell or Carr? Hell, Howell. Howell. Oh, feeling for Zach Moss. This is not related, but do not make that trade. Do not give up feeling for Zach Moss. Right. Um. Okay, Heath. What about what? Uh, okay, Tays- let, let me. S- I know you're starting Logan Thomas over Taysom Hill, but what about like um, Cole Komet? Or yes. Anu Smith over yes. here. Not interested. You're not interested in Taysom Hill. Maybe in a non PPR league, but not really. No. All right. We want to see it. We want to see another performance like that from Hill, where he's actually. I don't really. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's go to the Jaguars here, and ETN is the easy call. Is there another easy? I guess you're starting Ingram, who has zero red zone targets this year. By the way, that's fun. Which means this is the week he gets one. Definitely, definitely start. He's got seven targets in five straight games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 you're starting. You're starting Evan Ingram. Uh, I like Kirk better than Ridley. I think the matchup is much better for Kirk on the inside than it is for Ridley on the outside. Everyone looks at Marshawn Lattimore as like this amazing shutdown corner. Like, who are we starting over Calvin Ridley? Am I going to start Josh Downs over Calvin Ridley? No. No, No, but this is... um... Trying to think like some guys that are questionable like that or in that range. Uh, DJ I would, Moore. I would start McLaurin over Ridley this week. I'm not there yet, but I get it. 
Um, DJ Moore, I've got ahead of him. Amari Cooper, I have ahead of him. Even with their quarterback issues. How and about Christian just, Watson? You, 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 you sort of took a, a, a mini victory lap. You should be taking a victory lap about Kirk over Ridley. He's been significantly better. Yeah, it's it still feels a little. I mean, I'm still think it's going to be a back and forth every other week kind of thing with the way it's been. But yeah, it's just um, I'm glad that Christian Kirk the week one thing wasn't real because that was a that was right. a scary moment. I had way too many Christian Kirk teams, but uh, I I would expect I've got them back to back. I think I have Kirk one spot higher. They're both low end number twos for me this week. Would you start Christian Watson over the Jaguars receivers? No, no. Okay. Would you start uh, Marquise Brown? Mm. No. I I have it right now. Kirk Ridley Brown back to back to back. Oh. How about okay Brown Marquise Brown facing Seattle? How about Metcalf and Lockett versus the Jaguars guys? Metcalf over both. Yep. And I have Lockett slightly behind just because I I always fear Tyler Lockett having these. Four for 60 games. I do think it's um, – I'm hopeful. Like, we were hopeful for the JSN after the bye bump. I'm hopeful getting the the tackle ready or having, having one tackle back last week kind of got Tyler Lockett back where he needs to be. Okay, so the uh, if you want the diagnosis – like, last week I kind of did a statistical diagnosis of what's wrong with Geno Smith, and it was three things. Geno Smith wasn't throwing the ball deep, uh, wasn't connecting on deep balls. Uh, the – the uh, what team is he on? The Seahawks were running for a lot of touchdowns, especially near the goal line. And he was running, Geno Smith was running a lot less. So, what's wrong with Trevor Lawrence? The statistical breakdown of what's going on with Trevor Lawrence. One, he also is not throwing the ball downfield much. Uh, the Jaguars receivers collectively, they're 25th in intent, 27th in ADOT, air yards per pass attempt but also not getting any yak. They're 25th in yak. So that's a terrible combination. And then there's this one thing that's kind of weird. Trevor Lawrence is 8th or 10th in pass attempts. I think he's 10th in pass attempts. Eighth in, no, he's 8th in pass attempts, 10th in yards or something like that. He is 27th in red zone pass attempts and 27th in green zone pass attempts. So either they're just not getting there or they're running the ball a ton. But oh. it's, a, it's a bad combination for Lawrence not throwing downfield, not getting anything after the catch, and not throwing the ball near the end zone. And there's a third factor as well. I, last Coming into last week, fourth maybe, fifth, he was completing 40 of percent of his passes in the red zone. Well, he um, also struggled like, yeah, on third downs, and there were also a bunch of drop touchdowns. He's never – that, that's kind of the last part of his game, and we, we've talked about it before with rookie quarterbacks struggling there and we're viewing last year as his rookie year because Urban Meyer year doesn't count. But that's that's kind of the thing that hasn't clicked yet, is he hasn't ever really had success in the red zone. So give me some guys you're starting over Trevor Lawrence this week. Sam Howell, Jordan Love. Uh, I have Gino higher. Yeah. Jared Goff. I don't trust yep. Gino. Stafford. Stafford, yeah. Yeah, but we got Lawrence who's who's struggling per game. He's QB seventeen. Has a knee injury on a short week at New Orleans. <laughs> it's a lot of bad things here. He's yep. not. He's not top fifteen for me. All right. All right. Uh, do you like a DST in this game? Saints. Saints. Okay. Dave, I think that's it for Thursday night football. 